Hello everyone and welcome back to the sunny side. I am Sunny D and today we'll be doing Nightmare Realm by my homie Jonathan aka hey, famous YouTuber Diamond Demon 935. Oh yeah, the most famous YouTuber of them all. <laughs> uh, he hates that name so much. It's just so funny when, uh, to make fun of him for it every single time. He's like, oh it's a terrible uh, Xbox uh, generated username. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny. Anyways, so this level is kind of, kind of epic. All right, so now thoughts on the level. Uh, this level is actually pretty all right. Uh, I know it's one of Jonathan's better works, uh, but I personally believe it, there is some polish issues with this level. For instance, the shading could have been worked on more, maybe have more different teeth, maybe different child positions, or maybe different colored knives. I don't know, just add something to spice it up a bit. But you know what, hey, at least this looks better than that no effort generic 2.1 modern garbage that we see nowadays. But for the most part, it actually looks pretty darn good for, you know, like a novice career like Jonathan is. I mean, look at my stuff, it looks so cringe, dude. I can never make something that good. I mean, I would like to make something that good, you know, with my uh, Purgatory and Limbo level, which I really want to finish one day. But I just, uh, I, I feel like it's gonna suck and it's not gonna turn out the way I want it to. But anyways, back to this level, yeah. Uh, I've heard some people complain about the overuse of the same knives over and over again. I feel like that's somewhat a valid complaint. But, uh, that's just a... Uh, that's just something that they can complain about. Anyways, now onto the main topic of this video. Uh, let's address the elephant in the room. Yeah, uh, I got my first YouTube strike. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, the White House video got me a copyright strike. Or at least that's what I wanted to say, but it was actually my own stupidity <laughs> that got my first strike. Uh, actually not my first strike, multiple strikes. Bruh. Alright, let me back up a bit. So, <laughs> there was a part in White House where Devin said, Oh yeah, I have a thing for drool. And I'm like, oh, dude, homie, I got you. So, I went to go type in the Enhentai link in the description, and it's like, what, by most popular? And I was like, this is a genius idea, I do this for my homies. <laughs> I would give them the hookup for a lifetime, just like we did in the Dark Deception videos. And this is... Probably my favorite Dojin of all time. Might be a bit biased, and you know, honestly, I don't know if it's still my favorite of all time. It's just such a classic in my mind. Uh, 214, 546. And the reason why I worked in the Dark Deception video is because we only gave out the numbers and not any actual links in the description. <laughs> um, and you know, uh, when I try to input the link in the description, uh, YouTube uh, gave me like a notice after I checked the video while it was private. It was like, hey, you can't put this link in. So I had the brilliant idea of trying to outsmart the YouTube system. And actually one of them did eventually work. Uh, but then I ruined it by accidentally deleting it and trying something else. But anyways, point being is that I eventually found something that would work. So I got rid of the HTTPS part, you know that. And that actually did the trick. But eventually, uh, with all of those failed attempts, I did not realize that it would not give me one, not two, not three, but eight strikes on my channel. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh my god, I'm so stupid, dude. Luckily, uh, most of them are appealed already. I think like five of them are appealed. Uh, but yeah, it was just all on me. I just wanted to be a homie, and YouTube didn't want me to be a homie, which is very cringe. Anyway, so back to talking about the level. This sickle thing looks pretty darn cool, if I do say so myself. While normally these movements would look really weird, uh, because it's not smooth, it actually works out for this, uh, part in particular, because it feels so unnatural and all rusty. I don't know how else to describe it, but it works for this level, while other levels it wouldn't necessarily work for. Now we're at the drop, we got this boss fight, oh, and I guess I tapped too late. And if you want to know why that demon head is there, and why it feels so out of place, it's because uh, Jonathan kept getting so sick of people rating his level harder instead of, like, insane 
the the insane rating, so he had to put that demon face there because he had to upload this level like two or three times because it kept getting rated harder. <laughs> But I found that really funny. Another thing I find really cool about this level is uh, the boss fight section where it feels like, well, at least for half of the time, it feels like the dragon skull is actively trying to hunt you down. And then there's other times where it's like, bro, what are you even aiming at? Bruh. I'm not sure why there are two keys there. Don't ask me why. Please shoot my child's tits off. Okay, come on, I can't be the only one who thinks that she says that. Alright, but now it's time to talk about one of my least favorite parts in any of Jonathan's levels. It's the stupid, terrible ending, which is the green ore part. The infamous green ore part. For some reason, it's Jonathan's favorite part, but I find it so janky. Or I wouldn't say janky, I would say... It's specific only to his playing style, and that's why it's weird. Okay, it's not actually as bad as I'm making it sound to be, but it's it's not easy either. And of course, with all my criticisms in any level, they're not meant to be uh, like taken as for you guys to fix it and change the level immediately. It's more for the next time when you make a level, because then I think it's pretty cool to see the progression of a creator slowly get better and better instead of changing your levels uh, after you already uploaded them. Maybe the only reason why you should change it is to fix bugs in the gameplay, but that's about it. Like, for example, take a look at this level and compare it to Jonathan's, well, latest level when he comes back from boot camp, uh, Hephaestus. Look how good it looks and how much of an improvement it is compared to this level. Like, it's so impressive, dude. Wait, what? What key did I miss? <laughs> Bruh. Dude, what was that? Dude, I thought I hit it. Jonathan. Jonathan, what did I die to? Yay, I did it. Alright, so that was Nightmare Realm 1, not 2, yay. Oh yeah, speaking of Nightmare Realm 2, 
I will most likely probably be the verifier of that level. Uh, at least, hopefully I will be because the ending of that level is one of the most intense endings in any level I've ever seen. Oh my god, it is so hard. Wait, what is this? Progr oh, oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I downloaded this thing called Better Info, so this is, I guess, the progression of that. Alright, that's kind of epic. Epic. I am second place, and I, I saw someone beat this level. Like, bruh. Why would you beat this level even though it's not rated? I mean, it says the person who's done like 10 non-rated demons in a row. But I don't even know how this person found this level. Anyways, a very epic level by my homie Jonathan, Nightmare Realm, by homie Diamond Demon, famous YouTuber 935. Anyways, I have been Sunny D, and I will see you guys next time on the sunny side.